When I start designing a production like Wipers, I start really with researching. So I tend to go to the museums like the Imperial War Museum or I go to the library. I tend to sort of go and talk to the director for a while and we weed out what we like. We've set it in a barn, it's about 100 years old. Well, when you're reading the script, there's definitely areas of levels, so that was one of the first things I had to practically think about how we could have people on split levels and also in separate parts of the barn. We were really keen to kind of have a sense of perspective in it because we didn't want it to be completely naturalistic. We wanted to sort of push the feeling of the play. So it's got this feeling of, of perspective and almost an abstracted sort of bone-like structure that comes right over over the audience so hopefully when you're sitting in the theatre you'll actually sort of feel like you're in the barn with these these people. There's also a real sense of light that was really important and shadows so we've got lots of slats in the barn and there's sort of that feeling that we could backlight it and it can become almost like a starry sky or it can also become the feeling that it's been impaled with bullets before and broken. Historical accuracy with the costumes is really important because we're representing real men, a real regiment. So we've got a second lieutenant in the costumes who is an English character called Thomas. He has got a Sam Brown and a pistol and leather equipment. The three Indian soldiers, so they actually were coming over on the boat from India for four weeks. They then travelled through France and then they travelled over to Ypres and they were actually still wearing the Indian uniform so they were freezing they were wearing actually the cotton uniform still which was called the kurta which is a shirt that does up and then they've got all the leather equipment as well and then they're muslim men so they've got a sort of little cap that goes within their turban that they wear as well you have to be super accurate because these are real lives and real people that we're representing here